Welcome to another episode of Hiking with Darren and Natel. I'm Darren, that's Natel. We're hiking, which means, as of right now, it all makes sense. What's up, everybody? What's up? Happy Sunday. We're recording on a Saturday. Right. TV Happy. magic. Happy weekend. Happy weekend to you. It was a great start to the weekend. We had a visit with uh, some family this morning. Driveway visit. <sighs> which was nice to see, but also sucked that it had to be in the driveway. So tell. Yes. What is this show? What is this show? What is this show? What do we do here? Why do we do this? What you know you there's say? like over 50 episodes of this show on YouTube. On the IGTV split up into two seasons. What are we doing? We walk. We talk. And we share. I'm not exactly sure what we're doing here either, but I enjoy making them. I think there's a lot of therapy involved in uh, everything about doing this. So we're gonna keep doing it. And occasionally we just get some wicked feedback or a couple of nice notes uh, from people who watch this and uh, it makes our day. It really does. It's gotta be, a, this is a gratitude episode. And we want to thank you for watching. For commenting, for sharing, and sharing your hikes. And I've gotten a few food tips. Right. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it's it, been good. It works both ways because it's, I think, we've heard that, you know, we've motivated, but there's also a huge motivation coming back. Uh, yeah. All the time, so that's wicked. Motivation and inspiration. All right, tell we have to concentrate. Ready? drone face is coming out. To me it just sounds like stress. It's so loud and high pitched and whiny. It also feels like we're under attack. Like drone futuristic wars coming to get us. Robot age. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. And it and it and it Drone face. That's the worst I know. <laughs> so relaxing.
All right, that was a little bit of a bird's eye view yep. of our hiking route. I nice call it... to see, but production wise, it's very stressful for me. Why? Which part? The power the lines? Noise, the noise. You say you can't find it. Then we look for it. Then we gotta land it. <laughs> then we have to walk in the right direction. I don't know. But I think a cool perspective. There's been a few folks that say, hey, I like tuning in every once in a while just because I like the views. Yeah, and today's a beauty day. All right, so Christmas. Yeah. Are you ready? Because I'm not. I'm a little ready. Like I'm a little readier now than I was a couple days ago. So I felt I was missing a piece and I found that piece. And I was pretty happy about that. Really? Yeah. How many people are on your list? Two. One, actually. <laughs> so that's easy. Well, one, and there's some like, we have shared lists, people, right? That's a thing. Yes, but that's on my list. There's been a huge demand wondering when we're gonna get out into the uh, home, the Christmas <laughs> light. Well, I went yesterday. Twinkle tour. Saw some. You did? Well, my one house. You cheated? I did. I couldn't wait anymore. But I did get a report. Of? From Ma Madeline and Eddie and Olive. Okay. At Candy King Lane. There, who are they? My For the viewers at home. And nephew. And they said Candy King Lane was awesome. And there's music you can tune into it. We gotta go. All right. Maybe sometime next week? Yeah. Like next week? Yep. After Christmas? No. <laughs> Can we talk about our Christmas dinner plans? Sure. So, I have been gifted the beautiful gift of Christmas dinner from Quail's Gate. Wow. Um, <laughs> actually, my, so my boss said part of our Christmas treat is that she's gonna buy Christmas dinner for me and my family from Quail's Gate. I love Quail's Gate. Your favorite. I'm so excited. We have special wine saved for it. So thank you, Carrie. Thanks, Carrie. It's a gift for like the whole family. Cause then I get to chill. Remember at the beginning of COVID, I had a turkey in the freezer. I just, <laughs> I think it was March 31st. I just took that thing up. I do remember that. But why does it feel like, you know, that particular kind of restriction at time feels different than this one. The March one to this one? Yeah. They're not that far off in a lot of ways. Maybe the you no know, school thing. I think maybe because in the beginning it was all new and then we had a summer, a beautiful Okanagan summer. And now, honestly, people are over it. But it's more extreme now. So we just are mentally fatigued. Yeah, I think that's a pretty, a pretty good word. I got into, or I had the chance to do a project again this week with uh, KGH and all those folks there. So you talk about fatigue. I yeah. can't imagine kind of what uh, a lot of our healthcare workers are feeling, especially kind of going through this and still knowing that other people have fatigue. So it's just like, it's a tough situation all around. Yeah, it's very, it's a tough thing to go. But empathy, empathy still needs to be there. And uh, the ability to accept people's awkwardness yes. also still needs to be present. And uh, still, people don't know what to do. They still, they hear the restrictions. They want to reach out. They want to hang out. They want to see people they love. But you also they want to touch people. They want to hang out. All these things. Yeah. And you don't want to hurt people's feelings. You also want to follow the rules. And you want to be respectful. And you don't want to be... Yeah, it's just sad. Just respect the awkwardness in everybody. It's not coming from any other place other than they don't know what to do as much as you don't know what to do. Yeah. We miss you, family. We do. And friends. Yeah. See, you look to merge. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> hey, tell. Yes. You know what I've really found to be enjoyable time in my life right now? What? Raisin bread. Two scoops. It's 
change though? How do you... A little bit of almond milk. Oh my gosh. It's your fantastic. fave. Fantastic. It seems like that and maple walnut ice cream and I'm gonna... That's a day. No, peanut butter squirrel ice cream. Halo top. Yeah. It's about it. Do you guys ever remember... This is going back, but my favorite cereal in the world is Cracked and Oprah and it's only purchased in the States right now. It yeah. used to be in Canada, but I think they pulled it out because like their claims were so... <laughs> It was supposing as a good cereal, but it was like super like high in sugar. The same as Captain Crunch, <laughs> basically. So Canada said you can't have it here, but when we go to the states, yeah, crack an oat brand. When we did go to the states, if anyone's in the states right now, <laughs> can you go to Trader Joe's and get me some jalapeno ranch dressing? Yeah, and stir in some crack an oat brand. And what about that sauce? Like that That's everything. A Oh, everything but the bagel spice. Everything but the bagel spice. We have that. DM us for our address. <laughs> and we'll appreciate that. Ship to us. You've shared your uh, your entryway festive boxes. Yes. That just like feel so good to walk through when you come in the house there all the time. Are you kidding? No. Really? Really? I don't know if I believe you. <laughs> It's just like, like I it just... It makes me feel good. I, it makes me feel good as well. <laughs> I don't understand why we're arguing. <sighs> I just don't believe you. It's a true... You I, always make fun of me. I do <laughs> not. It's just pleasant banter. They but are beautiful. They are. They're lovely. <laughs> okay, you all, speaking of lovely, you've also been killing it. Not only have you been probably one of the busiest you've been all year with work. Yeah. You also rocked out a mushroom risotto. Uh-huh which was fantastic. So good. Um, I need to stop you for a minute. Yeah. What happened? Jesus. What the fudge? What is happening in this? What is that? <laughs> Seriously. It's like jaw bones. We've had people identify things in the past through photos, so... Anyone know? Like, ugh, it's stuck. What this is, but it's a jawbone of something. I kind of feel dumb because I don't know what it is, but also I'm not a wilderness expert. I don't know how many people who just like would know what this is. And if you do, there's obviously you're a hunter or some kind of like, it, it's just, is it common? Well, then we're both stupid because is it, if it's common sense, <laughs> To know what exactly that is from. I feel like you're not getting the whole there. You walked right over it. You were super into your story. What was I even About doing? risotti. Risotti? <laughs> the risotto. Yeah. It's like massive. Should we take it? No. We make a good keychain. <laughs> a necklace. The shark's teeth. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of footage of the. Yeah. So back to my risotto. So back, it was just fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was going to be leftovers for today, and there wasn't because it was good. No. Uh, so I was inspired by my friend Roz because she posted something and she said, "Just make the risotto and just drink the wine." And like, well, I've never made risotto. So you have, have drank wine. wine. Yes. And the risotto requires you to like stir all the time. So your basically bath is so stirring. So I had a nice glass of wine. Well, I stirred my risotto. While telling me, minutes. but while telling me how long you've been at the <laughs> stove stirring the risotto. Yeah. But you know what? I'm telling you, that was unreal. That's so good. Even Madden ate it. Well, there you have it. I mean, that's been. I feel like we should just cut the show now because there's too much goodness. It's action packed. It's going to cause way too many high expectations for the next show. <laughs> we don't know when that'll be. But we're, I'm finding, I'm seeing a little bit of a pattern with these weekend shows. Yeah, but well, we have more time. So we are going to end it. Yes. Our light's leaving us. It's time for us to go. You got stuff to do, Darren. You got your one Christmas present you need to buy. <laughs> I already bought it. Okay. You're... Every time I've asked Tell what she wants, she's like, I don't want anything. I really don't. If I want something, I just order it. <laughs> <laughs> I got my own job. 
you're an independent woman. <laughs> you don't need to wait till Christmas. <laughs> um, All right, this is getting silly. Yeah. Have a good weekend. We'll see you guys uh, soon. Happy weekend before Christmas. Hey, Tell. Yeah. Should we do some kind of like Christmas giveaway? I or like, away? yeah, something. Okay. I've got some stuff. What do I've, you? Haven't quite figured it out yet. Okay. I think it'll be a surprise grab bag. Okay. And so here's the contest. Give us your best hiking with Darren and Natal impression. And then we can upload it and share it to your, our story after you put it on your story or your Instagram. And we will not be offended in any way. No. Maybe, actually. Darren can take it. Just be nice <laughs> to me. <laughs> so we'll kind of leave this open uh, for the next week or so. Week or two. And uh, we'll just see what happens. See if we get a response. Hey, if there's only one response, then there's only one winner. It will be a grab bag. It could contain upwards of $5 value. <laughs> upwards of $200 value. Who knows? Who knows? what Darren has in his studio. Yes. And I'll kind of like, depending on who wins it, and is it subjective? Like it's just gonna be like, we're, it's, we're picking the favorite. Well, number Even one, if it's family or friends, is that yeah, we have to qualify? We, Hold on, let's stop and let's get real. Okay. Oh. So, you're getting intense. I know, sorry. We like to laugh. So, uh -huh. um, I like to laugh at you and with you. Mm -hmm. And we like to laugh with and at our, anyone who wants to impersonate us. It's pretty okay. easy. Yeah. There's lots of you, Creativity, humor, and content, right? Mm-hmm. Looking forward to it. Yeah, and if there's other people that want to contribute to the bag, prize, yeah. they sure. can do that. Yes. We don't know, right now it's like stuff from my studio. This is called the draft proposal. But there's good stuff in there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. Do your best impressions of us. Put it on your story. Tag us. Put it on your feed. Whatever. Send it to us. Yep. As long as we have a way to put it on our story, and that's the entry. Yep. And if you're okay with us posting it, that you have to be okay with that too. Because it's going on our story. Yep. To all of our viewers. And probably an episode. Yep. So keep that in mind. Yep. If you're hiding from the law, maybe rule out internet contests altogether yep. is a good <laughs> tip for that. There you go. Yes. This All right. is, and we just thought of this just now, like there's been no premeditated thought. I did think about this before because I saw something else, but yeah, anyway, it just came to me right now. There you go. So we'll keep you in, uh, we'll keep you up to date on uh, the status of when this closes, but I'm thinking the next couple weeks. Yeah. Like why not like try to do like a January 1st or anyway, we'll sure. figure out the details, but the contest is open as of right now. <laughs> okay. And hold on, this is, where I really, this is where I needed to qualify. So we do have some family and friends that watch this show. Yes. And then so we are going to judge as impartially as possible. Yes. But a family and friend could win this contest. Absolutely. So it's not like they're excluded. Because if we excluded them all, then well, we wouldn't have anybody. And they're going to make the most fun of us too. Yes. So, so that's the... The, the thing there, this is subjective, it's not a random generator. We're both going to look at that and agree on which is the one that made us laugh the most. Yes. And if you happen to not be in, have a hiking partner, you can also choose one of us to make fun of. Yep. And, Independently. Yep. Not make fun of, but impersonate. Yes. How's that? Make fun of him. <laughs> See you guys. Oh. how many blonde wigs are going to get sold. <laughs> None. <laughs>